Hello and good afternoon to all of you. Uh, I am Dhananjay Gadre. I teach at the Netaji Subhas Institute of Technology uh, in the Electronics and Communication Engineering stream. I am here to talk about some of the issues uh, related to the Atal Tinkering Lab. So, if we inspect this uh, uh, and dissect this term, Atal Tinkering Lab, Atal is the name. Tinkering, what is tinkering? That is a question in the minds of lot of people. So, tinkering is uh, uh, an open ended exploration using material and tools that you may have. It is a very different concept from Jugaad. Jugaad, as you know, uh, is a very common uh, term used in India, across India. Uh, tinkering would be, say, for example, I have this piece of wire, I have various types of wires. What all can I do with this, this wire? Maybe I can make something like this. I wound about 1000 turns of uh, 38 gauge copper wire on this uh, bobbin, which is basically a used uh, uh, used uh, thread spool. And then I covered it with tape at the, uh, the ends of the two wires are uh, attached to this uh, LED. And then when I put a magnet through this and I shake it, I generate energy. As you can see, this LED lights up. I have tinkered with the material at hand to create this interesting contraption. Similarly, if I have slightly thicker wire, I have made this little gadget which will work as a motor, as a demo of a motor once I put a magnet there and attach a piece of battery. I could have uh, say a uh, nichrome wire and I could for example, uh, during winters if my hands go cold and it stops me from working. Then on a glove, inside a glove, I could uh, put a layer of this uh, nichrome wire, attach it to a source of uh, voltage or a battery and then regulate the heat that is being produced and I can keep my hands comfortable. Similarly, if I have aluminum wire slightly thicker in size, you may have seen lot of artists use that with a plier. They bend the wire in various shapes and sizes and creates wonderful artistic gadgets, uh, artistic objects. So, when I, when I have my raw material as various types of wires, I have relevant tools, maybe I have a coil winding machine, maybe I have a plier and things like that. Uh, I am tinkering. Now, tinkering could be for educational purpose, it could be for uh, entertainment, it could be for discovering new things, it could be for inventing new ideas, it could be for giving shape to ideas that I may have in my mind. There is no predefined objective what tinkering might lead to. Whereas when we use the term Jugaad, Jugaad necessarily means that thinking on your feet to solve a local problem, uh, localized problem that you are facing at, at a point of time and create a solution which works time being for the time temporarily in your situation. It may not work for everybody across the globe and that is Jugaad. And Jugaad is something that we as humans, we as Indians are very good at we always try to find a solution when we are stuck up somewhere. I give you an example, the other day I was in a school giving a workshop to the students uh, in that school, uh, all attached to the Atal Tinkering Lab and I was lecturing and I had put my laptop on their stand which was slightly inclined. It was a metal stand and I was uh, scared that this laptop would slide off and it will break and fortunately I had a piece of magnet in my hand. And I was, as I was standing there, I noticed that if I could stick this piece of magnet on the metal stand, it stops my laptop from sliding. That was Jugaad. I in fact put two or three magnets there to create a more robust, uh, uh, you know, mechanism to stop that uh, laptop from sliding. That is Jugaad. But this lab is not meant for Jugaad because we are not trying to solve a problem that we see. We are trying to experiment. We are trying to uh, you know, involve ourselves in very creative ways. We using ideas that we may have or ideas that we see off the internet and using the material we have and you know the Atal Tinkering Lab is equipped with a, a very wide variety of equipment and consumables and uh, the whole idea is get these uh, kids from class 6 onwards up to class 12 uh, involved in doing interesting things may be related to the education that they have, may be related to something that they see on the social media and they want to create some interesting outcome out of it. And that is where the Atal Tinkering Lab would play a very interesting and useful role. That is the whole point of the Tinkering Lab. Then the next question is, what is the desired outcome? Basically the point is, I have this equipment, I have these tools and this equipment uh, uh, 
many of these equipment are classified as rapid prototyping tools meaning i can quickly create a prototype rapidly create a prototype which uh, in the earlier days would take months and days now i can do it in uh, an hour or few hours take for example this uh, 3d printing machine so if i have a cat design i can connect my computer on which i have created that design or i have taken that design off the internet and i can connect it to the 3d printer and an object can we have a 3d printed material sir just to show some object maybe that taj mahal that you guys were printing yeah so here here is an object that could be printed on the 3d printer in a matter of couple of hours whereas if this were done traditionally then i would have to create a die for this and i am not a die specialist so i have to find somebody who makes a die and then he charges a lot of money because it takes a lot of time to create that die and then one prototype will come off and maybe i'm not i don't like it and then i'll have to go through these iterations several times before a design that is to my liking is available whereas with the 3d printer i can uh, make a few changes on my computer fire that design to the 3d printer the 3d printer in a matter of hours gives me a design like this i don't like it i can do a next iteration and it takes another few hours so in a matter of a day or two days i can have a prototype model which is exactly to my liking and it is good for prototyping now do not imagine that using this approach you can uh, print thousand of these things because then it will take thousands of hours whereas it is good for prototyping that is to create one one model once you like that model then if you are interested in making a thousand copies or a billion copies you use the traditional manufacturing process get a die made of the design that you finalized without having to reiterate or iterate that process a few times which takes money and time you have already finalized the design on your 3d printer you get somebody to make a die and then use the traditional manufacturing process and create a billion copies of this 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 design that is where rapid prototyping tools are very very useful together with the rapid prototyping tools today tinkering is assisted by the fact that you have this concept called embedded electronics and embedded computers what is the meaning of embedded electronics an elec piece an electronic circuit which is embedded in your device for example i have a washing machine earlier time the washing machine was a purely mechanical or electromechanical uh, device but by putting electronics in it i can do lot of switching i can turn it on and off more efficiently together with that i have this concept called embedded computers meaning computers which are so small they are used for a single function that they are embedded into that device that i am interested in controlling so in a washing machine today there is a computer which is embedded inside you cannot reprogram it to for example cook food or do anything else you cannot use it to do a calculation but it is optimized to wash your clothes very efficiently and it has sensors which see the quality of water the quality of your clothes how dirty they are and it decides whether the washing machine should one work for an hour or half an hour or three quarters of an hour and that is where this embedded computer has revolutionized the way things are done now elements of these embedded computers ready to use em embedded computers such as arduino or raspberry pi or intel galileo they are in the inventory of atal tinkering lab and using those embedded computers a lot of sensors a lot of electronic elements they are put together for your use and you are free to create you know circuits and implementations that come to your mind with the help of mentors who would be assisting you in putting all these things together and this will give you a mechanism for the ideas that come to your mind or ideas that come to a group of you to take it from idea to a working prototype maybe at a later stage from that prototype maybe somebody can imagine that this is a prototype that lot of people need maybe a product idea can come out of that and that is the objective of the atal tinkering lab it could also be used to improve many of the uh, concept concepts that are taught in schools in various subjects maybe in physics maybe in chemistry maybe in biology why not atal tinkering lab has all the infrastructure and the equipment to improve teaching for example suppose you have many of you study faraday's law in maybe you know high schools uh, 8 9 10 th but you have never seen faraday faraday's law in action but you can quickly put together a small contraption that illustrates Far faraday's principles 
here is a copper wire about 1000 turns of copper wire a magnet inside and it is producing it is converting mechanical energy because i am shaking it into electrical energy that's how faraday's law is used right and so it could be used to improve teaching it basically the tinkering process has limitless opportunities you can imagine and you can implement it and that's the beauty of atel tinkering lab and it is my fervent appeal to all of you to make good use of this great facility that has been put into your hands and i hope uh, with these few inputs you have a better idea of uh, the process of tinkering how it is different from jugaad uh, what are the things that you can do with the uh, inventory that our tinkering lab has uh, i will come back with more videos explaining the uh, elements of tinkering and what all can be done till then bye bye happy tinkering